That fire and explosion forced the evacuation of several homes as the gas company was called to the scene. This all happened at 8th and Jackson Streets in South Philadelphia, and that's where Eyewitness News reporter Alicia Roberts is live with the very latest. Alicia? Jessica, good evening. We just spoke to the family who lives here just a few moments ago off camera. They tell me while three of their relatives did have to be taken to the hospital, including a 13 year old boy, all are expected to be okay. Now I'm going to step out of the shot. Take a look right behind me here. You can see that first floor window completely blown out. Fire crews as well as PGW officials remain on scene right now trying to figure out what sparked this massive explosion. Neighbors tell me immediately after they heard that blast, they could smell gas in the air. That house did shake a little bit. Like a car, it's like a car explosion off a movie, like a boom. Neighbors along the 800 block of Jackson Street describe what happened when a gas explosion rocked their South Philadelphia row homes around 6.30 Tuesday night. My head out the window, I seen a bunch of glass. When they arrived, they found the second and uh, first floor windows blown out. Philadelphia fire officials say the blast ignited a small fire in the basement, injuring three people who lived in the home, including a 79-year-old man, 40-year-old woman, and 13-year-old boy. All three were taken to Jefferson University Hospital for burns. PGW is locating the source of this uh, explosion. Gas had to initially be shut off to six houses, including Julie Reyes's, who was home with her little sister and cousin when it happened. I was scared for them because they just started crying. Inspectors were called to check for structural damage, but for now, officials say they are grateful. It could have been a lot worse. Yeah, again, when you're dealing with gas, get uh, uh, gas travels. Uh, as it reaches an ignition point. As is Julie, who finally was able to reunite with two other scared family members. Yeah. And that was little Duke. He is expected to be okay. Unfortunately, there were no other significant injuries despite a very close call. So many residents home for the dinner hour. Again, as you look live, PGW crews will remain on scene overnight investigating and trying to figure out really what sparked this last two homes had to be evacuated and those residents are staying with relatives tonight on this very chilly night here in South Philadelphia. Reporting live, Alicia Roberts, CBS3 Eyewitness News.